composite key mainly it's a primary key that is a unique identifier of a table but composite key is when there are more than one columns to identify a particular particular record of the table we'll see in the example we we are asked to get the marks of a student id 201 database will be confused because student 201 has opted not only for software architecture but quality assurance as well so in this case we cannot have one student id column as a primary key we need course column to be a primary key as well now it's easier for database to fetch the record and the record is fetched in a way now composite key is equal to student id plus course id now the record can be fetched in this way get marks of student id 201 plus course software architecture which is equal to 65 marks now it's easier for database to fetch the records and this is the classic case where one column cannot be your primary key column it has to be the second column as well it has to be course column as well to make it a combination so this combination of primary key columns called is called as composite key now composite key is not only confined to two tables there can be situations where there are more than two tables like 3 4 make it a unique identifier like in this example year column has been added to the table get marks of student 201 plus software architecture course but the situation is that the student has appeared in 2020 and 2019 as well in the same exam so again there is a confusion in the database table so, so to clarify this confusion we need to make year as a primary column as well now 3 columns are primary columns student id course and year which are combinedly called as composite key now it will be it will be easier to fetch the record give us the marks of student id 201 software architecture course in the year of 2019 which is 61 so that's how composite key works it is the unique identifier when there's no chance that one column 